Guess what, man? What? I'm going to be trading these three bad boys for a book that I've never had in my collection before. Why are you shouting? Can you be a bit more enthusiastic? And Because it's going to be a book that you've never seen before. Okay. Also, look there, not at the screen. I am. You're not. I am. Right, okay. So, let's put these down. I'll tell you what, can you... Is can, that one mine? Picture? That one mine? No, nope, mine. The 9.2 is mine as well, I remember. Oh, yeah, I gave it to you. Yeah, yeah, why? You don't want to see why. Why? Because you, you gave me some money, yeah. some cash, and I gave you the comics so you can sell them later. Listen, man. It's a fair exchange. It's not. It is. Man. You bought them from me. Can you, can you can you please press the uh, photo button? Just press the photo button. Where's that, then? At the top, on the left. Oh, yeah. uh, just, All right, then. Just, can you just... Cappy. You don't need to do that. Yes, I know. I've seen people do it. Yeah, do they bash the microphone they do. as well by mistake? They tap it and they go. That's weird, right? Hi, folks. It's Jason here from Jason Parker Comics, and I'm with Amanda. Thanks for joining me once again. Uh, it's been great. Oh. Um, <laughs> I've got an unboxing, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and as you know from the intro, I've got a trade. I'm trading in those three books, okay. which have a 90-day average value of three hundred and twelve dollars. I'm a bit confused though. You say you're trading them in, but you've got them in your hand. Yeah, I'll be sending them off to uh, the chap. Oh, right, you've already done the deal. Done the deal? Okay. The chap is called Falco. Mm hmm. No, not that guy. Mm hmm. And uh, he's based in Germany. Yeah. Good friend. He regularly listens to my show. Yeah. And watches it. <laughs> he enters the competitions a lot. He's put his complete faith in me. By sending the book to me first, and then now that I've got it, I'll be sending those books off to him as a trade. Okay, cool. So, man. Yes. Go on my knife, please. Me. Here's the box. Mm. I'm really excited about this. Why? Because it's a book that I've never had in my collection before. Right, well, there's plenty of books you've never had in your it's collection. It's a type before. of book. Oh, this is the one you mentioned before. You won't get it. You won't get it. I mean, no. I remember the letter P. You won't get it. It's P for Pennsylvania. Isn't it? Well, can we not give it away, please, to the audience? Okay. Well, I just spoiled it. Mm, I remember the story, though. But I can't remember exactly what they're called. But I can describe it. Perfectly packaged. Thank you, Falco. Greatly appreciate, buddy. We've got plenty of these uh, bubbles. Now, what have we got here? We've got this, mm -hmm. right? Which I think is for you oh. from Falco. Oh, cheers, dude. Right, because he did say he was going to put something in there for you. Ooh. By the way, guys, while Jason is unwrapping this, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe to get more future content for his YouTube channel. Thank you. Also, yeah. don't forget to leave a little comment to let me know what you think of the books. Yeah. Am I making uh, a good deal here? I think let you me are. Know. Let, me, let me know. Okay, this is exciting. Now, I remember you talking about it, but I can't remember the exact term okay. of what it's called. Yes, ma'am. Like this. It is... A Golden Age book, man. Yeah. It's uh, Captain Marvel Adventures number 25. Right. From 1943. Which is old. Super old. It's a CGC 7.5. Yeah, which is really good. Yeah, really high grade for the yeah. year. But more importantly... Yeah. Right, it is a pedigree. That's the thing, pedigree. Pedigree. I was, I was thinking Pennsylvania because that's what it's on there, isn't it? It's on the Pennsylvania collection, yeah. but a pedigree book. So I think there is a letter P on here somewhere. There is. There. Above Adventures. Yeah, if we look... Adventures. There, I don't know if you can see it, guys. Yes. That denotes a Pennsylvania book. Yes, yeah, so what you'll have to do now is tell everybody what a pedigree book is. So CGC have a list of collections mm -hmm. that are considered to be either rare or high grade and dependent age and and is age dependent 
but also isn't it it goes into someone will buy copies of books as they're coming out they have a like a big collection they they keep hold of them isn't that right uh, but that's why well, this what, 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 that, what normally that, happens that's from a, is this that, has not been passed on from person to person this is from no. someone's collection yes is that what you're trying to say yeah but it's it's a bit more to it than that though isn't it yeah um yeah from what i can remember but this is an old case with the old label the new pedigree label which i'll put up on the screen now looks amazing mm. it's almost like a bronze color like a bronzy goldy color beautiful so, uh, I'm Hang on, but don't these books have to remain someone's collection for a long time? Yeah, I said this one. Did we you did, say that? We've already said that. Mm, we've already said it. I just don't feel like you explained it very well. Well, you perhaps you don't listen very well. I think I've switched off. Well, you, you all switch off. Well, I want to get to this one. Well, that, that's selfish. Right. Okay. So, Captain Marvel Adventures, guys, which is obviously, who is it? Captain Marvel. Well, it's Shazam, isn't it? I can't Originally see. Originally Shazam. Uh, what? Yeah, that, that's what he was called before he changed his name to Shazam. Interesting. He was original Captain Marvel, but of course then Marvel Comics came in, didn't like it very much. You can't keep, you can't call him Captain Marvel when you got Marvel Comics. Oh, right. So it is a, yeah, pencil from the Pennsylvania collection. I am going to get this pressed and cleaned by, it'll have to be by CCS, which is C, CGC's cleaning company yeah because well they need to verify it's a need right to verify thing, it's a they? pennsylvania copy yeah. yeah and i'll get that rehauled and hopefully you'll come back with that lovely new label so do we know how many books are in the pennsylvania collection Now, the GPA on this, okay, mm -hmm. is $430, right? And that was from the sale back in July last year, 2021. So... But what I would say, I, like, regardless of the price, whether it's high or low, I still think it's pretty cool. Yeah. That you got There's something like that. Yeah. Yeah, no. And this is going to be a keeper for my collection. Yeah, yeah. Don't get rid of that. No. Uh, but I will get it pressed and cleaned because it's never mm -hmm. been pressed. They've been cleaned. There is a little chunk out in the corner. There. Mm. Which is why it's a 7.5. Maybe I'll just get a reholder. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get a higher grade than that. And you're always taking a risk of getting a lower grade, aren't you? Mm. So maybe I'll just get a reholder. And have it as... Um, of that and see what it comes up comes mm. back as or should I just leave it let me know in the comments guys yeah that's the thing yeah let me know what I should do I mean if somebody's had a pedigree book before and they can give you some advice as to what you know if it's a good idea to, to do something like that or just to leave it as it is yeah let them know yeah this one here which is a standard size comic yeah and you've got quite a gap big gap by the side you don't have the gap by the side because it is a bigger book but not quite magazine size, mm. which, is, which is good. There we are. So what do you think of that, guys? Let me know. My very first pedigree book. Thank you, Falco. It's greatly appreciated. Amanda switched off, and she's just interested in opening up what book she's got. It's annoying. I hope it's a Barbie book or something like that. Well, they are doing Barbie and Ken, aren't they? With Margot Robbie and that... That other guy. That other guy? That guy. What's his name? R Ryan. Is it Ryan? Yeah, not Ryan Reynolds. No. Ryan, um... Seacrest? No. Ryan... Giggs? No. Ryan... <laughs> X-Factor Ryan? No, he, he was in La La Land. He was in Blade Runner, 2049. Yeah, I can't remember his name. Ryan. Ryan. Right, can we have a look at the books? Why? Stop being so bloody nosy. For Amanda. You're very aggressive. You're a very aggressive woman. For Amanda. Does it say for Amanda? Yeah, get out. Get in, let's have a look. German version of Wonder Woman 97. I wish I could speak my 
No. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my, what are you doing to the books? Nothing, absolutely nothing. I don't know why you've been a baby. They're going to be very looked after. They're going to be very looked after. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yeah, that I, I, I'm looking forward to that. Very look after them, will you please? <laughs> this one? That's cool. It's got Batman vs Predator on the back. Nice. Oh, nice. With that. Can you speak any German? Ah, um, du hast. Mein, yeah. mein Teil. Hmm. Auslander. Dick and Ticken. It's <laughs> Superboy. Superboy. In German. Even you don't have this. Why well, isn't this really nice of, of Falco to do yeah. this? You know when you just stare at comics, it means people at home are just watching you staring at <laughs> oh, comics. No. Can you at least speak speak a little bit? Yeah. Uh, heft. Oh, German. One. Yeah, they're all in German. German. Let's go. Superboy and the Legion of Super Superheld Hero. Helden. What's that? The Legion of Superheroes. I wish I could speak German now. So I got a few Superboy comics, haven't I? Yeah, you have. Ich hab sie get Clark Kent. Wunderbar. Me Superboy. That one. I should just um. Ah. Well, this looks like Julius one. Caesar. So what? what Classics Illustrated. Hmm. Well, what was this? Classic Illustrated number sixty-eight, first print. Julius by Shakespeare. Mm. David Dempsey, writing in the New York Times book review, has said that the comic book of Julius Caesar, that is, that it has a Brutus that looks astonishingly like Superman. Our course will seem too bloody to cut the head off and then hack the limbs, says Brutus, in a language that sounds like Captain Marvel. And he notes that Julius Caesar is followed by a story called Tippy the Terrier. Well, how old is this book then? What it says on the back. It doesn't. It does, doesn't it? No, it doesn't. No. Now, this mm. book is mentioned in Seduction of the Innocent. What's that about? I've talked about it before. It was a publication that came out because there were authorities in America uh, who were concerned about um, oh, yeah. violence and sex in comic books and influencing children in a, in a negative way. So that brought in the Comics Code Authority. But this book was mentioned in... Um, Seduction of the Innocent. Well, while we're here, now let's have a quick look to see what um, what year that is out of interest. Danka. Who's that for? Falco. Falco. Not that Falco. <laughs> Baby do. Baby Do. Mm. No, it's not Baby Do. What is it? Do it to me, rock me, baby, baby, do it to me, rock me, ah, ah, ah. Nice. Mm. Just like that. Is that your powers of seduction? What are you talking about now? But you mentioned seduction, didn't you, earlier? No. <laughs> All right. You, you're not really listening here. <laughs> do you know what, Jace? I sometimes really do switch off. <laughs> <laughs> It's in here. Yeah. Reference in Seduction of the Innocent. You said that. Hang on, I need to read it. Led to the establishment of the Comic Code Authority. I said that, didn't I? You did. The reason. Wertham? Werth is it Wertham or is it Wertham? I don't know. Con condemns the decision to follow a classic piece of literature with a story titled Tippy the Terrier. So what's going on with Tippy the Terrier then? I don't know. Why is he naughty? This is part of history. Mm-hmm. And it is all mine? Thank you, Falco. Not that, Falco. Love you forever. Right, okay, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you think I've got a good trade on this. I, I think, think I have. I think I've got a better trade. Well, you, you've got some free books from Falco. Mm. In which German. Is very, very generous of him. Why do I look really small and be in shoes? Ridiculous. Stop it. Because you're a baby man. Get your head down. Get your head down. No. 
Can't, you, you can't see the top of your head! Right, okay. Thanks, guys. Bye. Look after yourself. Take care. Bye che now. Cheers, Falco. Not that Falco. Oh, my God.